for today's art lesson, we're going to be adding some color to our Ming Dynasty inspired pottery. So first I'll show you how to do the base and then I will show you how to do the plate. So if you're a second grader, keep watching until we're done with the base. If you're a first grader, you can skip over to where we start to color the plate. Artists working from home, the, if you have watercolor paint, I would like you to try using the watercolor paint. If you do not, you can use marker. If you don't have marker either, you can also use crayon or colored pencil. If you're using marker, crayon, or colored pencil, try and find a true blue color. So the regular blue marker color works really well. These really true blue colors work great, but don't pick something that's really light or has a little bit of a green in it. So sky blue, periwinkle, or a turquoise-ish color. These do not really match the Ming Dynasty bright blue colors. And these true blue types of colors are called ultramarine blue. So try and find these types of colors, ultramarine blue colors. If you do have watercolor paint, you're also going to only be using blue. Again, Ming Dynasty vases are famous for their bright blue underglazes. Underglazes are the special kind of paint that we use for clay projects, but we're just doing it on paper right now, so we're gonna use regular watercolor paint. So make sure to get your paintbrush wet, make a puddle in just the blue, and then make sure your paintbrush is really pointy. And then very carefully, not pressing down hard, you're going to trace over the pencil. So we're using the paintbrush kind of like a pencil or a pen. And this is gonna be a little bit more challenging than a regular watercolor painting where we just kind of start to paint and color it in. So you have to really, really pay attention and control your paintbrush. Make sure your paintbrush isn't too wet. Let the colored water from the paint tray soak in. And very carefully trace over. Our focus today is to develop craft. That is to work as neatly as you can. You do not have to trace the vase shape though because we're going to be actually cutting this out next week. So just trace over the designs that you made. So in this part, instead of tracing the actual pencil lines, I chose to color in these designs. If you want to have some areas colored in, that is totally okay too. Okay, now once you're done tracing with your blue watercolor paint, then try and decide if there's any areas that you want to add more patterns or blue color. So maybe I'll add some blue to the inside of my leaves here. Maybe I'll add a little bit of blue to some of the petals over here. Maybe I'll add some more designs in between here. You're looking at your work and reflecting. That means to think about your work and see if there's anything else you could add or improve. And remember that Ming bases are all about patterns and details. Okay, now once you're finished, we're gonna make sure we let it dry before you pick it up. And you do not have to do a background. We'll be cutting this out next week and gluing it onto a background. So just leave it as is and take a picture of your painted or traced artwork and send it to me through our Sonia or Canvas. Today we're going to add color to the Ming Dynasty pottery inspired plate design. So my best recommendation for adding color is using markers today. It can be colored Sharpie marker or it can be regular markers. 
if you don't have markers, colored pencils or crayons would work as well. But we want that blue to show up very vibrant, so markers would be a better option. Now, if you have different kinds of blues for Ming pottery inspired art, we'll want to pick the most bright blue. And this type of blue is called ultramarine blue. So very bright blue. So all these three would work. If you pick a light blue, like a sky blue or a turquoise color, a grayish blue color, which is called periwinkle, these do not really match the Chinese Ming pottery colors very well. So try and find a true ultramarine blue. The regular blues in your marker set, if you have them, work really great for this. So we are going to very carefully trace over the pencils. And today all we're doing is tracing. So I want you to make sure that you are working slowly, developing your craft. So today, really slow down a little bit and carefully trace over all of your lines. Once you're done tracing, we're of course going to erase the pencil marks. Today we're really slowing down in tracing, so you shouldn't have too much to erase. So you don't have to erase the whole thing. If you did a neat job, just erase parts that you see the pencil still. Then once you're done tracing, if you would like to color in a few spots, you can absolutely do that. Maybe I'll color in some of the flower petals. Maybe I'll add some more lines. So we're just adding some extra details with colors and lines right now. Remember that Ming Pottery is very famous for their bright blue and white colors, as well as details and patterns. Here we go. So I traced over my pencil lines with a true ultramarine blue color, added a few areas of colors and some more details patterns. And then next week we'll cut this out and then glue it to a background. So you do not have to draw the background today. And once you're finished tracing your work, please make sure to take a picture and send it to me through Artsonia or Canvas.